Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. We are here today, courtesy of Clipper Marine and Green Line Yachts, to have a look at the Green Line 45 Fly. I will start on this bathing platform, which is hydraulic, so basically you can low, higher and lower it into the water and either use it as a swim platform or by flipping these chocks over on either side you can put your dinghy tender on it and in case you're wondering these are scuppers to let the water roll off. There is also access to side decks from both sides and that side as well lovely sea gates and then fantastic sturdy aft deck handling gear with this really lovely fair leads here sunken side decks on both sides which we'll have a look at in a moment just pop over this side and show you that and then it also has the sort of standard trademark green line size super yacht style covered companionway lovely aft cockpit beautiful high low teak table there storage big massive storage bin underneath this locker here and then as you can see there's a folding patio door over there and a big door here that pops up here and effectively opens up this galley area there's a little fold out table here that just drops down to extend the galley out and then you've got this fantastic open plan galley saloon dining area I just step inside and turn it around the other way. You can see that as well. So galley's there, and that feeds straight out into the aft cockpit, down the steps. Imagine that bathing platform just submerged in the water. You can sit there, feet in the water while you eat your lunch. So back to the galley, cooker down there, ceramic hob, bit of storage dotted around the place. And then over on the other side here, we have, as Green Line seem to always do, domestic size fridge and freezer, freezer down the bottom there, distribution panel in here and just some nice sort of fiddly detailing dotted around the place. That leads us forwards to the dining area there with a little shared sofa over there, nice big windows letting the light flood in, really stylish LEDs inset into the ceiling. And you'll notice obviously there's a cut up in the ceiling where the ceiling raises. Partly that's to give you uh, insets for the flybridge steps, but also it's raised here to give you a slightly bigger master cabin. So past the high-low dining table, and again it's nice to see different wood finish here. Blinds all around, massive red big windows, almost like a mini sun lounger opposite the helm station. Lovely helm station. Great to see that, one that that slides backwards and forwards, which is really good, and also quick access through the side door there to the side deck and the midship's cleat. And this is the helm station. Now, the thing with Green Line is this boat comes with twin diesel engine options, which you can choose, but it also comes with a lithium ion battery pack and solar panels, which we'll look at when we go onto the flybridge. So you can effectively run this diesel or electric and hybrid. And again, you can choose how you want to operate that. And also using the lithium ion battery pack, I've been told that you can run the entire boat for the weekend just on the batteries without having to run the engines or the generator. We go forward first to the VIP. Fantastic cabin. Nice bit of standing space ahead of the bed. Storage under the bed. Wardrobes and storage all around the side. And those trademark green line superstructure windows that just make this so light and bright and give it that sort of bigger yacht feel added to very large mirror at the head of the bed another wardrobe in there behind the door here is the owner's ensuite loo vanity unit there and a very decent size shower there it also is shared because it is the vip with cabin number two three I suppose technically which is this one in here a bit more storage in the wardrobe there again loads of natural light coming in through those superstructure windows and a decent size double bed in there so back to the companion way 
past the shared hedge door and then one turn and we come into the master. Shut the door behind us, you can then see that really stylish shower and again benefiting from those superstructure windows. So back into the lobby, two steps down, or three steps effectively, take us into the owner cabin area. Massive great big bed, huge hull windows letting the light flood all the way in. So we'll head back out and go and have a quick look at the flybridge. So we head back out, quick turn around takes us up to the flybridge, which is really well laid out. Starting a stern, you've got this lovely teak table. Quite cleverly, they've got a little fold out section here so you can get around the seats at the back. Storage underneath all of these seats here, and that's high low, so if you want to, you can drop that down and use the cushions at the back as an infill. Decent wide entry and access point through the flybridge steps there. Helm station over here. Pretty much a mirror of what's down below. Big sunbathing pad so you can keep the skipper company while he's uh, motoring along or she's motoring along. And then over here are the fridge down below and up top we have a sink and a grill. And if I just, I can't walk on that, but now you can see those solar panels so there's a big one there, one another one there, and that's what enables you to run the boat, so they say, for the weekend, completely on battery power and inverter. So we'll finish off by having a quick peek on the foredeck through this lovely covered walkway, past these big windows, two steps up, again, still quite sunken. And again, what they've done here is they've cut away the bulwarks here. So when you're in the master cabin, or the forward VIP, sorry, you've got light coming in through the gunnels. So we go all the way forwards. Anchor handling here, gear here as you would expect. If I get out my shadow, <laughs> you can then see big, big sun deck. Pretty decent sized one piece windscreen as well. And here you go, now again, you can see those solar panels just on the top of the front section of the flybridge. So I think we'll leave it there. We'll say thank you very much to Greenline for letting us have a look around. Do please like and subscribe. I'll put a couple of extra videos in here to give you an idea of what's around on the channel. And I'll see you next time around. Thank you very much for watching.